you all, every human being, has that, let's call it guru, inside of us. It's that part of us that just like a completely enlightened being can listen to us and can fulfill what we want, what we need. So you can, this is why I spoke of that aspiration, that highest aspiration today. So you have that high aspiration and you can turn with that to that being in you, that inner guru who may or may not for you have an external image, external form. But you can turn to that and it will help you. It's like the stream, the great river that knows it's one with the ocean and you're stuck in little whirlpools going round and round. <laughs> you know? So turn to that great power of that river that already knows its oneness with the absolute, with the ocean. And it can take you easily out of those little whirlpools of judgmental thoughts, relationship issues, money problems, whatever it may be. For that great river, that great being in you, those little things are insignificant. But you have to ask to be helped. That's the nature of love. If we don't ask, if we don't open ourselves, if we don't reach out, then love cannot do its work in us. So when we speak of aspiration, I would say the aspiration is something that turns toward the divine, toward that which is permanent. And the desire is for that which is impermanent. And of course we live in a world where there's both. So in the Ramayana it says this line, take all the strings of your desires and wind them together into a rope. And with that rope, tie yourself to the feet of the Lord. To the feet of the Lord. To the feet of the Lord. So it doesn't say, cut the strings of your worldly desires. It says, wind them together into a rope and use that rope to tie yourself to the feet of the Lord. Understanding that the Lord, God, your higher self is the source of all that you possibly could want and need. So if you have the aspiration to know that source of all things first, then all your temporary desires are also taken care of. Maybe not exactly the way you want them right now from your ego consciousness, but from that higher consciousness perfectly in the way you actually need to have things. There's nothing bad about desires, except when we have desires, they make us unhappy. Because either you don't get what you want, and that makes you unhappy, or you get what you want, and then you lose it, and that makes you unhappy. <laughs> So we seek happiness by pursuing these temporary desires and it never works. But we have in our human situations, we have desires, that's just part of the package of being human. So turn to that higher source first and everything you need will be taken care of. And then, you know, another part of that is when you have desires which are mind-based, question your thoughts. Don't just believe them unquestioned. Mm 